No. Hi, boss. It's Paul here. Are you playing again? No, 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 no. I'm working hard, as usual. We have a lot of work to do. We just got the new build for dev, so we needed to test it right away. Let me just send you an email with all the details. Okay, fine. Okay, that's the email. The new app is ready for testing. Yeah. Seems to be a simple HTML application. Let's have a little bit of a play around with it. Oh, not a video conference, no, no. Bob? Bob, you there? Can't you see? Yeah, so, uh, seems like we would be needing to test also the API. So, uh, uh, there are gonna be some partners that are gonna use it for integrations. Do you know what to do? We can use uh, HP's UFT 11.50 for that. UFT what? 11.50. What? 11.50. Just say UFT 11.50. Do you know what it is? No. Okay, it's HP's Unified Functional Testing, the latest version. Wow. It lets you test GUI and APIs in the same IDE. Looks like you have the tool for the job. So go ahead, start working. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, let's start by creating a new test. Um, new GUI test, let's call it Order Checkbooks. Okay, oh, I like this new graphical view. Click on the record button. And now, username and the password. Okay, and log in. Okay, and now create a new action. And let's call it Order Checkbooks. Um, click on the Order Checkbooks button. Let's select the sports category. I'll check that and I'll take two. Um, so now we'll check out the order by creating a new action and click on the checkout button. And now I need to get a checkpoint out of this. So I'll select the standard checkpoint, click on the text from the message box and just change the actual order number to something which is a generic nine digit expression. Okay, so I click on OK, click on the OK button here. We're done. Okay, so now we can see the script, but what's this thing? It didn't recognize this object. Hmm. Guys, can someone help me out here? We've got this weird object that isn't recording properly. Bob. To use UFT Insight, it's a new UFT capability that identifies controls by their appearance only, and it doesn't care about their technology. Oh, Insight. Okay, thank you. Cool. Insight. So, okay, get rid of this action and delete it, and now I need to record again. Okay, but this time I need to enable Insight recording from the recording toolbar. Okay, so now I can click on this. And I can click on this and click on this. Then I can go to my standard checkpoint and I can put a checkpoint in with this piece of text. Just get rid of these unnecessary parts. And we're done. Okay, so let's go back to the script. Ah, okay, now I can see the buttons that it was supposed to click on. That's very cool. So I just need to edit them slightly to Make sure that I click in the right place, center it, and save, and then edit the next one, and center that. Make sure that I click right in the center of the button, click on OK, and that's it. Save it, and now I can run the test. Let's see what happens. Looking good. Looking very good. Okay, it's finished. Let's see the results, and the test has passed. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got my GUI test. Now it's time to create the API test. Bob? What? What about the API test? I'm doing it right now. So do it. Okay. I hate it when people tell me to do things while I'm in the middle of actually doing them. So I create my new API test, click on Add, and... Okay, now I need to import my web service definition file. So I go to this location, click on OK, and it's imported into my toolbox. I want to get the transfer activity, and I'm going to stick that inside my flow, and I can now configure the inputs and the 
checkpoints of this uh, activity. I'm just going to do a checkpoint on a uh, return code of 1 and we're done. So now I can run the test. I can run and I can see the test is working and this is looking good as well. It's passed. Better uh, call the boss. Yes, Bob. Hi, boss. Um, I just thought I'd let you know I'm finished. I've uh, written the GUI test, I've written the API test, we're all done. Already done? Yep. UFT lets me do quite a lot in a short space of time. Okay, you know what? Just read in the book, do you think that we can take the test and just add them to the daily bill? Um, yeah, UFT 1150 supports Jenkins and Hudson uh, continuous integration systems, so uh, I can add our tests to that system, that's not a problem. Go ahead, good luck. Bye bye. Next thing is going to ask me to do mobile testing. Good job, UFT 1150 lets me do that as well. HP UFT 1150. GUI and API testing within the same brand new IDE. Image based automation, wide range of the newest technologies, integrates to continuous integration systems. HP UFT 1150 addresses all your functional testing needs.